Hi guys, good afternoon, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in this uh, in this video today, I wanted to address a theory or uh, an idea I had uh, for the upcoming uh, soft reboot of Suicide Squad uh, called The Suicide Squad. So lately, there's been a lot of uh, there's been a lot of news, official confirmation, and rumors running around lately the past couple days about this particular film. I recently did a video just a few days. Ago about how the actor Idris Elba has officially taken over the role of Floyd Lawton, aka Deadshot, from Will Smith, who was unable to reprise this role due to scheduling conflicts of having back to back shooting schedules for other films. So Warner Brothers recast the role, and now Idris Elba will play the part. It is also highly suggested and most likely. Uh, that uh, that Margot Robbie will return as Harley Quinn. She is currently filming the Suicide Squad spin-off Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. Uh, so it seems more than likely that she will definitely be back uh, to replay uh, the fan favorite from the first film, Harley Quinn. Now, I had a, th a thought popped into my mind, like this would be a great opportunity. And keep in mind, uh, I'm about to just jump right into speculation here. None of this has been verified, confirmed, or announced, or anything like that. This is just me, a fan, expressing my theory and opinion as to what we could see if he were to appear in this film. Also, be warned, I'm about to uh, spoil the ending of Aquaman. So if you haven't watched Aquaman yet and you want to, uh, you might want to fast forward through the next couple minutes here because I will be talking about the very end scene. So... You have been warned. So the last we saw of Black Manta, he was saved from his floating raft after his one-on-one uh, -on -one fight with Aquaman. At the end of the movie, the uh, conspiracy theorist who firmly believes Atlantis is real and everyone else uh, just pushes him aside is out on a ship, presumably looking for clues for Atlantis. He recovers and saves Black Manta, and when he regains consciousness, he sees that this guy, Dr. Stephen Shin, is toying around with his helmet and his Atlantean technology that Orm gave him. And the two strike a deal. Black Manta agrees to show Dr. Shin where Atlantis is if Dr. Shin can tell him where Aquaman is. So that's the deal that was struck, and obviously that's just teasing what we will hopefully see and now Aquaman's officially confirmed sequel, Aquaman 2. So far, all we have and know about it is a release date, December 16th of 2022. It seems like more than likely most of the cast from the first film, including Yaha Abdul Mateen II, who played Black Manta, will be returning for the sequel. That just, you know, stands to reason. It makes a lot of sense. And hopefully Hopefully he'll have a bigger role this time and he'll be the main primary antagonist if not a supporting antagonist because that role went to Orm in the first film but uh, hopefully that's when we see Aquaman and uh, Black Manta again but I personally as uh, me being a huge Black Manta fan would love to see the character in the Suicide Squad and this is why I think he would be a great fit you know he's a great character if he's not an overall villain, he's definitely a great anti-hero. Uh, I think it would be really interesting to see him interact with and meet characters the likes of Harley Quinn, Deadshot, and the supposed new roster of characters that were reportedly revealed just a few days ago. We don't know if any of this is officially true or confirmed or not. I'm sure before the movie begins production in Atlanta this coming September, we'll get some more casting announcements as to who is playing whom. But the rumor is, is that the other characters who will now join the team will be characters like King Shark, who I'm really excited about, Polka Dot Man, Peacemaker, and Ratcatcher. Uh, the other guys I don't know m that much about, but apparently they're joining the ranks of Deadshot and hopefully Harley Quinn. Personally, I would like to see Black Manta appear in this movie. Now, whether or not he will remains to me be seen, but to me it just makes a whole lot of sense because... Um, there's there's obviously a time jump between Aquaman and the sequel coming out in 2022. That's almost like, that's pretty much four years. Um, I find it hard to believe that the ending of the first Aquaman will jump right into the beginning of Aquaman 2. I just, I just don't see that happening. What I do see happening as a good possibility is that perhaps Black Manta and Dr. Shin struggle in locating both uh, Aquaman and Atlantis, their partnership either dissolves or they go their separate ways or they agree to just search for both 
items on their own. And then Amanda Waller, who is supposedly returning for the Suicide Squad, gets wind of a brand new bad guy she could recruit to her top secret government team. And, um, you know, she maybe she strikes a deal with Black Manta. Maybe she tells him, you help us complete this mission with these other bad guys and I will give you Arthur Curry's file. Because if you remember, at the end of Suicide Squad, in the post credit scene, she is seen meeting with Bruce Wayne, presumably in Gotham, telling him how she thinks she's been compromised and that she's going to need his help moving forward. And he's like, consider yourself under my protection. And then she hands him a dossier with, with what looks like the pictures and files of the different Justice League members, at least... Um, at least uh, the Flash, uh, Barry, and uh, Aquaman, Arthur, because both their photos were seen as uh, Batman, Bruce Wayne quickly flipped through them. So if Amanda Waller has dirt or information, like concrete information on uh, Aquaman of all people, that would be something extremely valuable to Black Manta. So if he does appear in this movie, I suspect it'll be under the pretense that he'll do this mission with the other characters, and after the mission, if he survives, he'll be on his way along with the file or the dossier on Arthur Curry. And then from there, he would jump into Aquaman 2 because The Suicide Squad comes out August 6, 2021, where Aquaman 2 comes out December 16th, 2022. So there's about more than a year gap in between there, between both films. And to me, it would just make sense for Black Manta to have an adventure with The Suicide Squad, and then he survives that movie and then jumps right into Aquaman 2 where he resumes his search for Aquaman and then finds him. So I think that would be a lot of fun to see in the Suicide Squad. Whether or not Black Manta will even appear uh, in this movie as a main character or maybe in some glorified cameo remains to be seen. Right now it sounds like they're focused on just bringing back Deadshot and Harley Quinn and then this new roster of characters who I rattled off earlier. But I personally would think it would be super awesome to have Black Manta join the ranks, if only temporarily, of Suicide Squad. Because, uh, you know, the producer of Aquaman Tease that Black Manta has a big role in the future of Worlds of DC, and that means other Aquaman movies and hopefully just other DC films. And I think a perfect place for Aqu uh, Black Manta to fit in would be the Suicide Squad. So what do you guys think? Do you agree with me that he could, should appear in the Suicide Squad, or should he be saved and kept for Aquaman 2? Do you want to see him in one movie or the other, or both? Uh, leave your feedback and your comments in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear everybody opinion. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed talking about it because I love Black Manta. <laughs> Have a great rest of the weekend. If I don't see you, thanks again for watching. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.